All right, guys, so our next topic is actually going to be uh, still in the world of Zack Snyder here because uh, this was just a quick thing that I thought was kind of funny. I just wanted to actually add it in. I was going to include it on the last one, but I don't know why. It just became a, it became its own thing for now, for whatever reason. But some, I don't know, the world's... Batman himself had to have found this. Like, the world's greatest detective or someone from CSI, like the TV show CSI, where they can just enhance everything had to have spotted this because there was a an image in Entertainment Weekly from Zack Schneider's uh, upcoming Army of the Dead movie on Netflix, a zombie flick, which I'm very excited to see. I'm very excited to see Zack Snyder do something outside of the DC uh, universe for like just for the first time in a while. Because at no point in time was Zack Snyder ever a divisive director until Man of Steel and BVS came out. Like everybody liked Zack Snyder and Zack Snyder movies. And I want to get back to that. Like, cause he like, there's only one bad movie he's made. I contend to this day, and that was Sucker Punch. Yeah, everything else has been fine. You're not gonna tell me that 300 was bad. You're not gonna tell me Dawn of the Dead was bad. Man of Steel was amazing. You can tell me it's not, but you're wrong. And <laughs> BVS was fine. I don't think it was bad. It was just fine. But the, you know, I mean, you're you're almost batting a thousand. It's close. He's like a 900 right now. It's not terrible. And then the Snyder Cut, we'll just have to see. Like maybe, maybe that's bad. Who knows? But either way, this uh, picture came out here showing that they go into the, 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 our cast here of Army of the Dead. They go into this bank vault, and you see these things right here. Now, when you enhance, those were the same pictures or the same canisters there that uh, were used for the Snyder Cut. <laughs> like teaser that he's like he put out. Zach posted this image, and then he literally included it in <laughs> in Army of the Dead. That's funny. Like, which I just find to be it's effing hilarious, honestly. Like, but whoever found this is insane. Like, how you <laughs> would see this random picture of the bank vault from Army of the Dead, and your eyes go over to here, and you're like. I've seen this before. Yeah, I would never like, have got that. I would have absolutely never noticed that. And I try to, like, when I'm watching movies, I try to find, like, little Easter eggs that could be hidden there. Or I like to look for, like, airs. Like, in, in uh, Batman Begins, there's a scene, for instance, where that Christopher Nolan forgot to cut out during the, the dock fight station because the music in the fight scene doesn't sync up to the sound design. So it's just this random clip that shows Batman's feet all of a sudden, but the scene has already stopped. And it's there. Go and watch it. It's a, it is a mess up in editing. Um, but I like looking for that stuff, and I notice that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? But I would have never seen that. No, no. Like, it's insane. That It's hilarious that it's there. And I just I, I want to know who found this, because it's, it's just insane. It's fairly pretty valuable. Yeah. yeah, I mean, honestly, it's the most valuable thing in that room. It's worth at least a hundred million dollars <laughs> at yeah. this point. So, yeah, I just thought that was cool. You guys, uh, what do you guys think about this? Do you think it's funny? You think it was a good thing to little throw in there? I just think it's funny. Yeah, Who that's do you think a... found this, man. It's hard to say. Like it's insane. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think it's, I think it's hilarious that Zach is trolling, kind of WB by you know because that was WB's talking point for for so long was that it doesn't exist it doesn't exist we can't yeah and that's the thing he posted this picture like not like this was i mean this says nine months ago or, or nine minutes ago this is an old picture though regardless okay yeah. i remember seeing this like six months ago yeah you know, like because this came out he posted this before the announcement that he was actually doing it so, and that was like February or something or March, maybe when it officially came out. So, I mean, this was a while ago. This might almost been a year ago they posted that. So, like, he was filming Army of the Dead. And if you look, it's already on the cage there. Yeah. Like, so he was filming Army of the Dead and, like, already had this shit sitting there. That's true. It's literally like the same shot, <laughs> just different. Yeah. Well, I just find it hilarious. Like, but I mean, he did know about 
uh, he he confirmed himself that he initially started talking to Warner Brothers about making the Snyder Cut back in November, December, right around the time the COVID was over in the. Uh, uh, China, oh, like God. right around that time, was exactly when he was talking to uh, them about actually doing the Snyder Cut. So this is just how he had the foresight to throw this in there, and like just because I just I don't know, I just find it hilarious. Right, it's baffling. But anyways, you guys got anything else you want? Are you excited for Army of the Dead? It'll be cool to see. Interesting, see his like take on that sort of thing. Oh, he's already so, done. He did Dawn of the Dead. I'm an idiot. Yeah, Dawn. It was so good. <laughs> that was a great um, movie. Like, dude, that was that was a great movie. That was like his first big movie that put him on the map, man. It might have been his first big Hollywood movie in general. I can't really remember. Now I feel stupid. <laughs> N- not many people know that was a Zack Snyder movie. Like if you have seen his his original Dawn of the Dead, go check it out because it's. I mean, if you if you dig zombie movies, it's it's definitely one of the good ones. It's yeah. It's there have been good. so that have been made that were just kind of so-so as the craze kind of swept over everything. But his came his came before, like, The Walking... Like, Dawn of the, his Dawn of the Dead was before The Walking Dead TV show was out and stuff. It was kind of... Uh, zombies weren't as big as they were when that movie came out. It was I, like, he kind of rekindled the, the movement, I feel like. It, everything oh, started, yeah. like, happening after... Because I think that came out in, like, 2000. I was not a Walking Dead fan. And, uh... Yeah. I like zombie movies. Well, it, it has a very different feel than Walking Dead, so yeah, don't worry. Yeah. It's much more of a traditional zombie thing. Yeah. But definitely. done really well. Like, done really, really well. So, I'm looking forward to it. And again, Netflix, at least as far as Army of the Dead goes, just like Kevin Feige seems to have, like, the utmost confidence in... Um, can't remember his name now. Let me find it. I got to pull it up. The, Michael, Michael right Waldron. Up. Yeah. Just, be, like, they... Uh, Netflix seems to have a ton of confidence in this Zack Snyder Army of the Dead project because they've already greenlit an anime series for it and a prequel movie. So hopefully he captures some lightning in a bottle there. And like maybe he's going to have his whole, he'll go on and make sequels for this thing afterward. Like who knows, man? It could be really big for him. It maybe could be a dead. sleeper thing for Netflix, dude. Sequels like Air Force of the Dead. Navy of the Dead. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Marines of the Dead. <laughs> yeah, good. I mean, I'd be on board with that. Space Force of the Dead. <laughs> Space Force of the Dead. That'd be cool as hell, man. Ugh. That's the only thing we haven't had yet is zombies in, in space. Right? True. I don't think we've had that. I can't, I, I can't like think of one. I'd be shocked if there, somebody hasn't done something with that. I'm sure there's been a play on it, like in like an episode of Star Trek or something. But like they had to have at some point. Maybe not, but it does seem like something, or like your uh, your Stargate series or Battlestar or something. You know, one of these serialized shows that just kind of exist in space. I'm sure it's done something about it. But, anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Did you? I just thought this was funny. So you just let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments. Do you think? You know, the Zack Snyder's just like the biggest troll in the world because, like, I'm I'm starting to think he's got some. He's doing he's doing good. This is real good, and I need to know what amateur sleuth out there is actually found this thing because that's incredible. I don't know how you would even go about realizing that was in there. So let us know what you guys think down in the comment section below.